everyone. It's me, NYSE Einstein, from the Florida New York Stock Exchange. Inside Verschoft, how are you doing? July 11th, this market is on fire. Dow Jones hit record highs today, 21,562. Closed off the highs up 125 points. The Russell up 12, the Spiders up 18, right? Gold up five, oil up half a dollar. Absolutely, we hit record highs in the Dow. Are you clear about this? Okay, every opportunity to go down has not been taken. We are up, 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 up. Even yesterday's big sell-off of Donald Trump Jr.'s emails rebounded with a rally even higher. We closed up yesterday, and today this train was on fire. Spiders were up early, the S&P futures early, early, early. Across the board, absolutely fantastical. Anyway, I never read stuff, but today I'm going to read it because what happened in the Fed today, Fed minutes, right? Janet Yellen has been on TV all day long. It's unbelievable, right? She's just a, she's a trooper, a real trooper. Head of the Federal Reserve, the chairman was speaking about what she has to plan. Ladies and gentlemen, headlines, New York Stock Exchange, NYSE Einstein. Fed expects to start unwinding balance sheet this year. Fed expects to continue gradual increase in interest rates. Fed expects average neutral level of federal funds rate to run lower than previous decades average. What does that mean? That we can be happy with 1% or 2%, that that is not a big deal, that ba basically that is free money. Fed sees 2017 job growth sufficient to add new entrants to the labor force. Fed expects GDP to have rebounded Q2 greater than 1.5% then Q1. Yellen seeks risk to global economy from trading partners with economic challenge, the only downside, and Yellen sees equal odds U.S. GDP will be somewhat stronger or weaker than the Fed predicts. Balance sheet unwinding. That's what we're talking about. It will happen this year. It will be selling trillions of dollars on the balance sheet as slowly as they need to or as fast as they need to this year 2017 into a strength of a market that doesn't want to stop at the end of the day ladies and gentlemen we are still only at one point on interest rates years ago we were at 16 people are, are, are making a big deal over quarter point rises money is basically free and those who are borrowing money fed fund rate one percent if you're borrowing money at zero, if I come to your house, want every, I give you a pair, you give me three pairs back, I'll do that all day long. That's what's happening here. That's what's fueling this market. That's what's fueling the economy. Money is free. It's being borrowed and it's being invested, and that's what's fueling the market. That's what fueled the, 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 the bounce back from the recession, 2007 and 2008. That took the market from 6,600 to 21,500. It's still there. That 1% that we are up, those interest rate raises that we've seen, quarter point here or there, are poo poo. They're nothing. They're ang and ting and forget about it. We're at 1%, we go to 2%. Big deal. Free money fuels this market. That's what we got. Market up 150 points, 140 points. Hitting a Dow Jones Industrial Average record high, all-time high, which was 21,560 points. Giddy up on that. Einstein's out for the day. Tomorrow's Thursday. We're over the hump day, and I love you all later.